Hi, my name is Alex Kulakis. I will talk about our work on the approximability of multi-stage mission set cover. This is only work with Mitis Fotakis from National Tech and University of Athens, Manigotis Kostmanagotis from National Tech and University of Athens, Vasilis Nakos from Zanablan University, and Max Leplanck Institute for Informatics, and Zorko Spilivas from Singapore University of Technology and Design. So, in the mean sunset cover problem, we are given a set of elements Q, number from 1 to n, and a set of requests R1 to RT that are subset of uh, the universe Q. And the goal is to select permutation pi, minimizing uh, the action cost of uh, the total action cost of the request RT under permutation pi. So, the action cost of a request RT under permutation pi is the position of the first element of RT appearing in permutation pi. Let me try to give you an example to uh, clarify this. Let's assume that uh, the set of elements, uh, the universe of elements U is from one to five. Uh, the first request R1 is composed by the elements one for five, the second by two and three, and, the th and R3 by just the element five. So if we select the permutation five, two, three, one, four, then uh, for request R1, we will pay action cost one because we find uh, the first, um, we find an element of R1, the element 5, in the first position of permutation. For uh, the sequel, for the request to, uh, for the request R2, we pay 2 because the first position in permutation, in the permutation that we find the element of R2, is the second position where we find the, uh, the element 2. So we pay action cost 2. And uh, for the for R3, we pay again X cost one because the first position of pi at which we find uh, an element of R3 is position one, where we find element five. So the total cost is four. If we had selected the permutation to be one, two, three, four, five, then uh, the total, the action cost would be one because we find uh, an element of R1 in the first position. Uh, uh, for the R2, it will be two because we, are, we will find an element of, um, We'll find two in the second position, element of R2 in the second position of the, of the permutation. And for R3, we again pay five because we find an element of R3 in the uh, position five. So the total action cost uh, for, uh, for this permutation here is eight. And so the motivation uh, of behind the mean sunset cover problem comes from recommendation systems. For example, assume that we uh, have an online bookstore and we need to decide the order of the presented titles that we possess and the top dollar order. And uh, the idea is that each user that visits our uh, web uh, store um, is interested in different categories of books like computer science, math, cooking, sports, etc. And uh, we need to uh, decide, we need to specify the position, the, the order of appearance of the book, such as at least one user finds a book of readers as high as possible. And um, the request R1 to RT stands for the various statistics over the correlations of the titles. In, uh, so, uh, mean subset cover problem is quite excessively studied. Uh, it is known that it is MP hard. Uh, moreover, it is uh, you cannot approximate the problem with a, a factor less than four unless p equals p, and uh, there is also very elegant and simple greedy algorithm achieving this four approximation ratio, and there are several constant factor randomized algorithms for generalized uh, for the generalized version of um, some sort of cover problem. So in uh, this work, we focus on the multi-stage mean sunset cover problem. Uh, this is a um, version of the pro. The, in this uh, setting, we assume that the requests R1 to RT are ordered in a time series, and this represents uh, the uh, the motivation behind this. Is the, um, it, it comes from the fact that uh, the user preferences may evolve over time. So at round t, a request to RT arrives. And we need to select the permutation pi t of the elements to serve the request RT. So a basic uh, difference with the mean sums of cover problem is that we can serve its, its different request RT with a different permutation pi t. And the cost that we pay is the action cost of uh, is the action cost of uh, serving a request RT with uh, permutation pi t plus uh, the number of irreversions between permutation pi t and pi t minus one, which is uh, the moving cost. It's considered to be the moving cost. Uh, so our goal is to select the sequence of permutations by one to by t, such as the total cost is minimized, uh, axing plus uh, number of moving cost. 
So in uh, last year's work with uh, quite different set of authors, uh, we considered the line version of the problem. In the line version of the problem, uh, the requests are one towards the arrival line and are unknown to the algorithm. And we, we provide a very simple R squared of n competitive algorithm in case the cardinality of the request are, is bound by parameter R. And we also showed an omega of R lower bound for any online algorithm. So uh, our work leaves a huge gap between a lower and upper bound and uh, between our score of n and r. And this is because uh, the multi-stage mean subset cover problem and it's a very a rich combinatorial structure. So um, in this work, uh, we're trying to understand uh, this structure and uh, by considering approximation algorithms for the flying version of the problem. And um, so uh, we have a very, um, we, we consider uh, the offline version of multi-stage mismatch problem, at which we are given a sequence of requests R1 to RT, and uh, we seek to find a sequence of limitations pi1 to pi t, such as uh, approximating the optimal value of multi-stage mismatch cover problem, which is uh, the sequence of permutations pi1 star to pi t star, minimizing the total action cost plus the total moving cost. Uh, the moving cost uh, is uh, also denoted as the kettle doubt distance between two permutations, which is the, exactly the number of inversions between permutation PA and PP. So uh, we provide several positive results. We prove that there exists an randomized uh, uh, big O of log n square approximation algorithm and a deterministic over square approximation algorithm in case uh, the cardinality of the request is found by R. Uh, these uh, are called R-bound sequences of requests. And we provide several negative results. We saw that uh, there is no approximation algorithm with approximation ratio less than small low of log n until SP equals P. So this uh, reveals an interesting uh, a gap between uh, the mean sum discovery problem and the multi-stage mean sum discovery problem because the original uh, mean sum discovery problem admits constant approximation uh, ratio. And uh, we also prove that uh, we cannot find, if someone finds a smaller approximation algorithm for the case of our bound sequences, these are the kind of sequences that with the, uh, the kernel of the request is bounded by R, then uh, this would lead to a smaller var approximation algorithm for the set cover problem in case the cardinality of the request was bounded by the parameter R. So uh, this is another kind of uh, hard result, the result that we get. And in a sense, our uh, lower bounds um, are uh, um, close to the ones, to the upper bounds that we present. So uh, our algorithms are based on, uh, NL, on NL, NLP rounding. Uh, it is interesting that uh, the LP that we use is the LP relaxation of an hour of the problem, of the move from problem, but this problem is very closely related to the multi-stage mean subset cover problem. So in the move to fraud problem, we are given a sequence of elements R1 to RT and the permutation of elements pi zero. And the, uh, the goal is to select again a sequence of permutations pi t with, uh, from pi one to pi t, such as the following hold. Uh, a constraint of the problem is that the permutation pi t must essentially contain an element of request RT in the first position. So in a sense, it enforces the uh, move to move for problem, uh, enforces all the selected request sequences to admit action cost one, to have always an element of uh, the request in the first position. And since it is a constraint, uh, the goal of the problem is to minimize uh, the total moving cost between the permutations. So this is the move to front problem. And so there is an elegant uh, way to prove uh, that the optimal solution of the multi-stage means subset cover problem and the optimal solution of the move to front problem are approximately up to some approximation factors uh, uh, the same. Uh, so we use a linear relaxation of the move to front problem that obviously is an approximate linear relaxation of the multi-stage means subset cover problem. And this relaxation is based on the fact that any permutation of elements can be represented by 0, 1 uh, double stochastic matrices. So these are kind of n by n matrices at which the rows uh, stand for uh, the elements of the universe 
and the positions and the column stands for the different positions. So we put one once a specific element lies in a specific position. And uh, so the double stochastic matrices are this kind of n by n matrices with row sum equal to one and column sum again equal to one. So um, the relaxation of the move to front problem is uh, the following. Uh, we seek uh, for a sequence of uh, uh, of double stochastic matrices A1 to AT. Uh, we have initial A0 matrix equal the initial permutation that were given as input. And then we, uh, 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 then we have an additional constraint stating that the overall mass of the elements uh, belonging to quest RT in the first position of the matrix uh, AT uh, equals one. So this is the relaxation of the constraint of um, a move to, the move to front problem, stating that an element E of RT must be in the first position of permutation pi T. And uh, for the moving cost, um, uh, we consider an extension of the kettle bell distance to double stochastic matrices. So uh, this function here measures the moving cost from going from one matrix, matrix uh, to other. And is, uh, I want to just mention that the solution of a linear program uh, I, I, will, I will not present you the linear program because it's uh, quite uh, um, complicated, but it's a solution of the linear program. So I uh, just want to have in mind that the overall, this is an overall, this is a uh, linear program. And uh, exactly the fact that uh, uh, the, this is an LP relaxation of the move to front problem, we have that the overall moving cost of the double stochastic matrices of this uh, linear program is at most four times the optimal solution of the multi-stage mean subset cover problem. So um, our problem is basically to round these double spastic matrices. So we solve the linear relaxation, the previous linear relaxation of the move for problem. We get the sequence of double spastic matrices and want to round them, uh, meaning that we're going to produce a sequence of permutations by one by t, such as uh, the overall axis cost plus the overall moving cost is at most row times the moving cost of the uh, double stochastic matrices. And uh, uh, at first, I'm going to present you the randomized rounding, which is, a, which is quite simple and is based on a, a randomized rounding given by Scuola, Scutel and Williamson uh, for generalizing some set cover problem. So, in this, um, uh, so the rounding works as follows we select a, a alpha E uniform at random 0, 1 for each element E in the universe. And at each round t, we compute, we compute the index of element E at round t, which is the first index i, such as log n times the aggregated mass in a row E between position, position one, and one, and I, 1 and i, exceeds uh, the value of the random variable uh, alpha E. And then, we output, we, out, we sort uh, the elements at round t according to their index IET, and this is a permutation that we output at round t. So, um, we basically show two things. Uh, we prove that if someone uses uh, the above randomized rounding, uh, then the expected distance between uh, two, uh, two consecutive permutations is at most four log n square uh, the moving cost of uh, the matrix is 80, 80 minus one. And uh, for the assignment cost, we prove that uh, uh, the expected access cost uh, of request RT under permutation by T is at most uh, two times the access cost of the optimal solution. And this is uh, based on the fact that the row, that the column sum, uh, that, that the sum of the elements uh, of matrix A, uh, A, of, of the elements belonging to the request RT equals to one. And so, which means uh, that uh, with this randomized round, we, there, there will be at least one element of RT with a high probability in the first position of the permutations. So, uh, uh, now let me show you the deterministic rounding that we provide, which uh, that works only for R bound sequences, meaning that all the requests of cardinality bound by a parameter r. And uh, this is an extension. The, uh, observe that uh, in um, due to this constraint here and the fact that uh, each request has cardinality bound by r, there exists at least one element uh, e 
belong in RT, such as the mass of the element in the first position of uh, the matrix is at least one over R. So uh, our deterministic grounding is really simple. Uh, when we're at permutation pi t minus one, we find, uh, we find uh, an element uh, E belonging to the request RT with mass in the first position greater than one over R. We know that all there exists at least one such element. And then we just move it to the first position. And this is how we get from permutation pi t minus one Permutation by T. So we prove that the overall uh, moving cost uh, with this deterministic ground at most two uh, R squared the moving cost of the matrices of the double spaced matrices. And then uh, it is obvious uh, that the axis cost that we pay is less than the optimal axis cost because uh, by the definition of our rounding, there always exists an element. Uh, uh, an element T belonging to RT in the first position of permutation. So we pay uh, at most what the optimal solution pays the axis cost. So uh, some interesting future research direction is for someone to try to close uh, the gap between uh, the upper bound of, uh, between the, the upper bound of the competitive ratio that we know for the online version of the problem, which is R squared of N and omega of R. So this is, uh, this is a very interesting uh, question. And another uh, interesting uh, uh, question is um, to try to uh, get tighter um, lower, lower bounds and upper bounds for the offline version of the problem. We actually believe that the uh, we conjecture that log S square and, and R square are, the, are tied uh, in the previous uh, mentioned sense. Um, for now, I remind you that our results are only for uh, our uh, omega of log n as a lower bound omega of r for the case of one bound sequences. So uh, we conjecture that uh, there, if someone does the reductions more uh, carefully, uh, these um, uh, factors can be, uh, can be proven to be tight. Thank you so much.